Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to give you a little how-to care video for Darlingtonia californica, or better known as the cobra lily. These plants can be a little bit tricky in cultivation, so I will give you a few tips and tricks that help me out in their care. So, this one is just a seedling cobra lily, and then they go up in increments from there. This plant is about a three-year-old plant. This plant here is about a four-year-old plant. And then this plant here is about a five-year-old plant. Picture size on this one this year really exploded. Um, as you can see from the size of my hand here, the pictures are just huge. Um, I'll back the camera up in a second to give you a full shot of it. Cobra lilies, the key with growing them is they do like damp roots, but they need the roots to be cool. So as you can see, I put them in white containers. This is for the summertime. When they're outside, the white container is going to reflect the sun and keep the roots cooler than if it was in a black pot. A black pot in the same situation would probably be death to the cobra lilies. Okay, I backed the camera up a little bit so you can see this cobra lily here. This was the first one I got. If you notice, the white container is a sour cream container because I needed to transplant it into a bigger pot and I couldn't find anything white other than this. This year's growth is at least two or three times the size of last year. This is where the plant was last year. If you look at some of my previous Cobra Lily updates, um, I will put a link to those in this video. These were some of my biggest pictures last year. And they were quite big at the time, but um, nothing compared to this. These pictures are gargantuan in comparison. They stand a good foot tall. So cobra lilies like bright conditions. Um, they can take a little bit of sun. They do like the cool roots. So when the weather gets warm, it's not just enough to have them sitting in a tray of water outside. That water is going to get too warm and the roots are going to cook. So what you have to do with these is keep the roots cool. And this is where most people have trouble with a cobra lily. Uh, my secret to success with them is as the weather gets warmer, I put them in the stream in my pond, which keeps them nice and cool. I try to give them as much light as I can this time of year, but in the summertime, I try to keep them out of the noonday sun. So if we turn this guy upside down, hopefully I can show you the trapping mechanism here and give you an idea. So the insect is going to crawl up and let's see if I can show it here. This is going to be a tricky shot, guys. Okay, so you can see the um, the hole where the insect will crawl up. Excuse my jiggly hand here. It's actually not moving that much, but it really um, emphasizes it on the tip of the cobra lily. So anyways, the insect crawls up and enters in that little hole there. And once it's entered in the hole, it the top of the cobra lily actually has perforated um, clear slots in it. So the insect continually tries to fly up instead of down and then can't make it out of the trap. You can see that again in a close-up of this cobra lily here. How all of these are going to be clear and the light's going to penetrate in so the insect will not try to go down, it tries to keep going up towards the light. Anyways guys, that is a quick tutorial on my cobra lilies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's tons more to learn about them but can't do it all in five minutes. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.